friend joey this side welcome to joey's tech and let's put the dynamic programming technique in the stock market i am not going to teach you how to make money in the stock market but i'm definitely going to teach you that if you are given future price predictions of a stock for n days and you are permitted to do k transactions how you can obtain maximum profit out of that before we begin solving this problem before we move to the problem statement i request you to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon because that impacts my ability to create such videos in a direct manner let's see what this problem has to say now the problem begins with the statement that the future prices of n days of a particular stock are given to you so this is the first set of data first set of information given to you the second statement says that you can buy the stock on a particular day and sell on any future date this also means that you cannot buy the stock on a particular day and sell on the same day you have to sell it at a future date keep that in mind now there is one condition that you are permitted to do only k transactions that means if the value of k is 2 then you cannot buy and sell more than two times this particular stock now with uh, all this data provided and with uh, this condition given to you you need to find out the maximum profit you can make in these n days from this particular stock so this is the data given to you n is equal to 6 that means price future price prediction of 6 days is given to you and uh, you can see the prices the price on day 1 is 10 then on day 2 it's 22 day 3 it's 4 day 4 it's 75 day 5 it's 65 and day 6 is 80 boy this share just went from 10 to 80 my god you can make a fortune here and the value of k is given to you as to that means you can buy the share two times and you can sell this share two times not more than that of course you are going to buy and sell it once and then you are permitted to do a buy and a sell again but not more than that so with this information we are going to find the maximum profit that we can obtain from this stock with all this data I recommend you to watch this video till the end because this is a very interesting algorithm and how we put dynamic programming technique here is important. I am going to not directly tell you the solution but I am going to tell you how to approach to the solution of this problem. Let's switch to our framework and solve this problem. So here is uh, the array of prices and uh, k is equal to 2 that means we are only permitted uh, two transactions now when i think of solving this problem using dynamic programming approach then i think of first solving the problem uh, for k is equal to 1 that means uh, i am going to make the first transaction and find out the maximum profit now when i think about k equals to 1 then the algorithm which is coming to my mind which i can apply here to obtain the maximum profit especially when k is equal to 1 is the longest increasing subsequence algorithm i can apply it here and find out the maximum profit so let's apply it here and first find out the maximum profit for k is equal to 1 so i am telling you how to approach to solving this problem rather than jumping on the solution straight away so that you also can develop the intuition to build the solutions of such kind of problems so let's first solve this problem using LIS so what I'm going to do I'm going to put I over here and J over here all right so I'm going to start from here what is the profit I'm going to get if I buy on day one and sell on day two I'm going to get 12 all right now i goes one cell to the right and uh, j stays here what is the profit i'm going to get when i'm going to buy on day one and sell on day three it is going to be minus five all right now j moves one cell to the right what is the profit which i'm going to get when i buy the share on day two and sell it on day three so it's going to be minus 17 now 
minus 17 is uh, lesser than minus 5 so I'm going to keep minus 5 over here and uh, one thing which I'm going to do which I'm going to modify here is that I'm going to do the comparison over here so I am going to proceed this 12 over here because it is greater all right now I moves over here and J goes back to its space position when I buy this stock on day one and sell it on day four how much profit am I going to get 65 all right now J moves one cell to the right this means I am buying on day two and selling on day four so how much profit am I going to make I'm going to make 53 all right and if I move J one cell to the right then I have to buy the stock on day three and sell it on day four so over here I'm making the profit as 70 now 70 is the greatest so I am going to put 70 over here and now I'm not going to progress 12 over here because 70 is greater so this at this point 70 is the greatest profit I'm getting so it stays as it is now I moves one cell to the right and J goes back to its space position all right so what I have to do I can buy the stock on day one and sell it on day five so I am going to make 55 as the profit okay and uh, then I move J to the right so over here I buy it on day two sell it on day five I make 43 dollar as the profit okay now J moves one cell to the right over here I'm going to make $60 as the profit and when I buy it on day 4 and sell it on day 5 then I'm going to get minus 5 as the profit all right so 60 is the greatest number over here so I'm going to fill this cell with 60 but the maximum profit till now is 70 so I am going to replace this 60 with 70 all right so I moves here and J goes back to its space position over here now I buy the stock on day one and sell it on day six so what I'm going to make I'm going to make 70 dollars then J moves one cell to the right so here I am going to make 58 dollars okay and now J moves one cell to the right so I'm going to make $75 now that means I'm buying it on day 3 and selling it on day 6 okay so J moves one cell to the right over here I am buying this stock on day 4 and selling it on day 6 so I am making just $5 profit and then I just move j one cell to the right over here i am making 15 dollars profit so which is the highest highest is 75 so 75 is going to stay over here and it turns out to be the maximum profit if i am permitted only one transaction and i easily solved it using the longest increasing subsequence algorithm all right so we have the maximum profit calculated when k is equal to one also we have uh, the profit the maximum profit calculated for n minus one days similarly n minus two days n minus three and n minus four days now that's a very useful information it is going to be very much useful when we are going to calculate the profit for k equals to two so we have done it for k equals to one i'm going to put zero over here i'm going to explain to you why i'm putting zero over here so don't worry let's uh, do this for k equals to two all right now when uh, we move to the second transaction things turn a little bit complex because we have to also use the profit that has been calculated previously to find out the total profit but the best part is that we already have that profit calculated so for the day we are calculating the profit for uh, the second transaction we already have the maximum profit available till the previous day so let's see how to use that information okay so we are going to use LIS again now all right so 
let's do this so i'm going to set i over here and j over here we are going to progress with the longest increasing subsequence algorithm again so let's do our first calculation so it will be 20 to minus 10 so it is going to give me 12 now over here we have one condition we will have to use the maximum profit till the previous day so over here i'm buying it on day one and selling it on day two there is no previous day but we are training our algorithm and you will realize that in the subsequent calculations all right so let me add the profit of the zeroth day to this profit that i've got over here it's just for the sake of creating the algorithm okay and that is why i have put zero over here don't worry you are going to realize that once we progress all right so let me proceed let me increment i now okay it moves here so the transaction which is going to happen is going to be 5 minus 10 so this is going to give me minus 5 now what is the maximum profit before day 1 we still have 0 so 0 added to minus 5 we are going to get minus 5 okay this is my first candidate now j moves one cell to the right okay second iteration so over here it's going to be minus 5 it's going to be 5 minus 22 so it is going to give me minus 17 all right now what is the maximum profit before day 2 okay so it was 12 it was 12 so I am going to add this 12 to this minus 17 and it is going to give me minus 5 again so both are same that means minus 5 is going to stay but for a while because I am going to proceed with 12 because I am chasing the maximum profit and that is why I need 12 over here because the last cell is going to give me the final profit that is why I am progressing with the maximum one all right so let's move i one cell to the right now any doubt you are having in this algorithm you can rewatch this video then also if you have a doubt you are welcome to put that doubt down in the comment section i'll promise i solve that doubt within 24 hours all right so over here it's going to be 75 minus 10 so it's going to give me 65 and the maximum profit before day one it's still zero so 65 plus zero is going to give me 65 okay now let's find out the second candidate over here 75 minus 22 75 minus 22 so it's going to give me 53 now the maximum profit before day 2 is 12 so 53 plus 12 is going to give me 75 look I've got my second candidate this also means that we are buying on day two, selling on day four, okay, in our second transaction. Before that, we bought on day one and sold on day two. So you can calculate, you are going to get 75 as the answer. If I buy on day one, sell it on day two, so I'm going to get 12. And then if I buy on day two, which I can do and sell on day four, I am going to get 75 as the answer all right that's what we are doing but through dynamic programming now J moves one cell to the right over here it is going to give me 70 75 minus 5 so it will be 70 and what is the maximum profit before day 3 it's 12 again so 70 plus 12 is going to give me 82 now this 82 is the greatest so 82 stays now we are going to compare this 82 with the profit from the previous sale because we are progressing with the maximum profit over here it's 12 so we need not change it because 82 is greater than 12 we are chasing the maximum profit remember so 82 stays now i moves one cell to the right and j goes back to its base position so it will be 65 minus 10 it is going to give me 55 over here i am going to add zero as the maximum traffic before day one so 55 stays let's calculate our second candidate j moves one cell to the right so it will be 65 minus 22 
so it is going to give me 43 okay now what is the maximum traffic before day two now what is the maximum profit before day two it is going to be 12 so 12 and 43 is going to give me 55 again this means that I am buying on day one first, selling on day two. So I'm getting $12 as profit. And then I'm buying on day two and selling on day five. So I'm getting $43 as the profit. 43 plus 12, it's going to give me 55. All right. Now J moves one cell to the right over here. Okay. So it's going to be 65 minus five. So that is going to give me 60. Now, before 3, what is the maximum profit? It is 12. So, 60 plus 12 is going to give me 72. So, what does this mean? We are buying on day 1, selling on day 2. So, we are obtaining $12 profit. Then, we are making a buy on day 3 and selling on day 5. So we are making $60 profit. So 60 plus 12 is going to give me 72. Now let's move J one cell to the right. Over here, it's going to be 65 minus 75. So it will be minus 10 at first. Then what is the maximum profit before day four? It is 70, okay? Before this cell, it is 70. So 70 minus 10 is going to give me 60. Okay, so now over here, 72 is the maximum. So I am going to skip all of them and put 72 over here. There is one more comparison that we need to make. So it will be between 72 and 82. I'm going to progress with 82 because 82 is higher. All right, now I moves to the last day and J moves back to its base position now here it's going to be 80 minus 10 so it will give me 70 so 70 will be added to 0 we have already seen that so first candidate is 70 okay now J moves one cell to the right it's going to be 80 minus 22 so that is going to give me 58 what is the maximum profit before this it is 12 so 58 and 12 is going to give me 70 again all right now j moves one cell to the right okay so it's going to be 80 minus 5 it is going to give me 75 now what is the maximum profit before this it is 12 so it is going to give me 87 all right we are going fine then j moves one cell to the right it's going to be 80 minus 75 it is going to give me 5 and what is the maximum profit before this 70 so it will be 70 plus 5 added as 75 so it will be 70 plus 5 added as 75 okay now the final iteration so it is going to be 80 minus 65 this is going to lend me 15 what is the maximum profit before this j so it is 70 so 70 plus 15 is going to give me 85 so out of all these candidates which is the maximum the maximum is 87 this one so let me put 87 in this cell let's do the final comparison between this 87 and the value in the previous cell which is 82 87 is higher we are going to progress with 87 we are going to proceed with 87 and not with 82 and this 87 becomes our answer this means that we are buying on day one selling on day two in our first transaction all right and then we are buying on day three and selling on day six in our second transaction that gives us 87 and 87 is the maximum profit which we can obtain from this stock when these are the future price predictions of the next six days and two transactions are permitted let's quickly see its algorithm 
so this is the algorithm profit k i is going to be equal to maximum of profit k i minus 1 comma maximum of price i minus price j plus profit k minus 1 j if you are going to implement this algorithm in a program it's surely going to work you can check it with the data set provided in this video the time complexity of this algorithm is k dot n square with this we have come to the end of this l with this we have come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video i hope you liked this video do give it a thumbs up i look so much forward to help you with programming and algorithms and until the next video goodbye